Coach, this is uh, Chuck Sullivan from the American Athletic Conference. We're on with the uh, the uh, teleconference. Uh, the Golden Hurricane opens its season this Thursday at Oklahoma State, the Bank of, Bank of Oklahoma Turnpike Classic, 7.30 Eastern, 6.30 Central on FS1. If we could uh, get your thoughts on the preseason and then on the opening game with Oklahoma State, please. Yeah, I mean, obviously uh, we're excited about the season starting. Obviously we've got a uh, really good opponent here the first game. I mean, o- Oklahoma State, I believe, is uh, – maybe as talented as I've seen them uh, since I've had to go against them. Uh, uh, got great skill guys offensively. Got a quarterback with a lot of starts underneath his belt. Got an NFL arm and body. Uh, got receivers that are really good on the outside, and, and they're bringing back the majority of their offensive line. And then defensively, got a ton of those guys back as well. And, and Spencer always does a great job uh, from a defensive standpoint. So we know we got our hands full going there. We're, our guys are excited about it and uh, looking forward to the opportunity. We'll take questions now for Coach Montgomery. Hit star one on your telephone keypad to join the queue, then the operator will introduce you. We'll go, next. We'll go to Dan Tortoro with wakeupcalledit.com. Good morning, Coach. How are you? I'm good, Dan. How are you? Doing well. Uh, kind of going off of that, you mentioned Oklahoma State and the upcoming game that you have. Just overall, not just for Tulsa, but for the entire American Athletic Conference, not shying away from playing top talent and, and obviously playing the Power Five and being successful there. Just what you can say about the importance of these non-conference games and building up what this conference truly is. Well, you know, we, we've always done a great job uh, within our conference and, and here at Tulsa of playing, you know, exceptional talent as, as we uh, schedule our preseason games. You know, for us, we've got to look at it just like it is another game. Uh, you know, it's game number one. Uh, we still got a lot of question marks, and we're all looking for answers right now uh, as we head into the season. And so uh, you, you have good feelings about your team, but until you actually tee it up for real, you just don't know. Uh, we, we, you know, we go against each other all the time, and now we finally get a chance to go against a new opponent. But uh, with that being said, you know, Oklahoma State, uh, ranked in the top ten, uh, coming off a great year, uh, and got a ton of those guys back. So it ought to be a, a great game. We're looking forward to it, and uh, hopefully we can represent our conference and our university well. And then as far as the quarterback situation going into it, just what you can say coming out of the fall, what stood out to you and what's what's kept some guys close in the quarterback battle that you've had so far? Yeah, you know, I, th- I think we've got two good guys, you know, both of them. Neither one of them have any experience, and, and so, uh, you know, we're working through that part of it. They've had good days. They've had rougher days. Uh, you know, I'm looking for consistency within that, and and whoever uh, can really lead our football team and, and be a good distributor of the football and keep us moving the chains and doing the things that we want to do, that's the guy that's ultimately going to win the job. So uh, I'm excited about both of those guys and what they bring to the table. Uh, let's get them under the lights and see what they do. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. We'll go next to Robert Allen with Triple Play Sports Radio. Good morning, Coach. Good morning, Robert. How are you? I'm good. Hey, uh, I wanted to ask you about Cole Neff, a young man from uh, the Oklahoma State program that transferred over the years. I always thought he was a tremendous athlete, and he did a lot of different things for Coach Gundy, everything from special teams to, gosh, preparation for Washington one year in the bowl game. He played the the quarterback on the scout team and was invaluable. Talk a little bit about what he brings to your program. And, and, and obviously, too, he's a smart kid, so he probably remembers just a few things he learned while he was over in Stillwater. Yeah, Cole's been a great addition. I mean, uh, he came to us uh, right there at the start of the spring semester, and uh, has done a, a great job. I mean, for us, he's playing our tight end spot and, uh, you know, really worked hard on the deficiencies that he had coming in and what we do from an offensive standpoint, and, and he's really improved as a blocker. Um, he's a great route runner, got great hands, very intelligent kid, hard worker. He's he's going to play for us this year. Uh, he'll be on every special team probably, and then in addition to that, we're going to use him offensively. So, uh Great kid, great family, right here in the Tulsa area from Owasso, and and we're excited to have him. And uh, 
I mean, does he bring – do you debrief him? Because, I, I, like I said, I know he's a smart kid, so he might remember a few things, although I bet they've changed signals. I don't know. But uh, uh, can he bring anything there, or do you even get into that kind of part of it? Yeah, you know, we uh, – I, I hate to put kids in those types of situations. So, you know, uh, from a personnel standpoint, you know, we talked about a couple of guys here and there. From a schematic standpoint, all of us change – uh, throughout the year and and so from a signal standpoint and different things like that uh, I'm not really going to put him on the on the table on that stuff so uh, you know we talked to him about personnel that was about it and then uh, you know the rest of it we got to figure out and do coach thanks appreciate it thank you we'll go next to Christopher Heidel with HERB radio We have Chris. Check your mute button, please, Chris. All right. Well, I don't seem to have Chris. Coach, well, thank you for your time this morning. Look forward to uh, hearing from you again next Monday. All right. Thanks, guys.